I think if there was ever a live show that I would totally be in on with you, it would be to set up something where people come in and pitches us their new class idea, their new, uh, what gym they want to open, their franchise model, whatever it is, and we just fucking let them, like, tear it apart or build it up, whatever it is, invest it, whatever they are, but they come on, it's live, they just say it, and we react to it right there in the moment. What if, they, what if we do a segment like that at self made summit you have your idea for your rebranding or whatever and you pitch it to everyone that's all the guy all the speakers done and you fucking we just fucking like a panel. It. yeah like a panel you pitch it to us and we ask questions that if, would be if you're shit. gonna do that what the fuck though Damn. all right so i frequently get asked what my workflow looks like what the creative process is like when i'm creating a video not for what the fuck gym talk but for urban movement or any other gym that i work with Recently today, we had a workout. I walked out with my camera and I said, I'm gonna go ahead and capture the story of this workout in this particular class. So I want you to go ahead and see exactly what my timeline looks like on Final Cut Pro as I'm cutting this up. And what you're gonna see, it is not a completed story yet, but at least it'll give you some insight as to where my head goes when creating content in the video format for a gym. All right, notice how the first 11 seconds are completely blacked out. There's nothing there. There's just a couple of those little marks. That's because I still haven't put in the beginning part, right? All I have are clips of the class happening. For me, the narrative needs to happen with a little bit more character introduction. So later on today, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I capture some B-roll of people coming in, opening the door, walking to the front desk, getting a sweat towel, signing in for class, kind of that look of mix of like excitement and anxiety before they go into the workout. Maybe they'll high five a few of their friends, whatever it is, I'm gonna cut together some B-roll so that beginning tells a perfectly clear story Story to whoever watches it. It's perfectly fine to jump right into a montage of action shots and box jumps and barbell and burpees and all that. I just like to set up the narrative a little bit more true to a Shakespearean experience where we have character introduction, conflict and resolution. And that ultimately is where most of my storytelling and the origins come from. If you notice as we go through the workout, I'm going ahead and whatever Deuce did, whatever he coached them through, I went and showed clips of the members doing. I went back and forth like that. And at the very end, I went ahead and did a little back and forth between the different ergs that were used, using some cool you know, uh, angles with the camera, kind of getting up and under them or on top of the flywheel to get a cool different angle than a static kind of shot from afar. Another thing you'll notice is Getting group shots is a pain in the ass. You do not want to get a lot of group shots because it always just takes one person to fuck it up. Meaning they don't move you know, in sync or they're doing something kind of off color. Maybe you don't want them. What I mean off color, like shitty form or maybe they puke or they're shirtless. I don't know, whatever the fuck that may be for you. But someone in the shot is not doing exactly what you want. And in a marketing video, this video should represent exactly what you fucking want. So I go ahead and use very close up shots. I zoom in on individuals and I focus generally on just one person at a time. And if I am gonna capture two people, I'm generally utilizing a movement pattern that it's hard to fuck up. Something like an erg or running or something to that effect. The music I utilize is completely copyright free. I used artlist.io, go check them out. It's a great resource, amazing music. You can cut through the background, but it, a lot of you guys are using Magisto that I recommended a few vlogs back and I think that's perfect. And I'm gonna tell you, use Magisto. This here is not for everybody. If you were not naturally good at telling a story, do not waste your time and energy doing this. You've got a fucking gym to run. If it comes naturally to you like it does for me, then this is actually a lot of fun. The creative process is truly enjoyable and it's really neat to sit back and see the finished product. At the very end, we have our kind of tagline that we're running with, the Find Your Movement. That's been a campaign we've been running for over a year now. And then we just finish with a clear logo bumper at the very end. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. There's other ways that you can spice this up and we'll do that later on but to literally capture this footage 
cut it together and get it ready for production in you know less than an hour, there's no need to go crazy on it. Remember, this is just gonna be one fucking piece of content someone consumes out of several hundred that they'll consume in a given day. So do not overthink this. You're not taking this shit to Sundance. You're literally just wanting them to see it, understand it, and then they're gonna move on. But then hopefully they see it, understand it over and over and over again. Hopefully you're running it as an engagement campaign or a video view campaign and then a retargeting campaign like I lay out at MicroGym University in the social media marketing course. Go buy that shit. And remember, this is with no color grading, no, again, added effects or anything like that, no transition shots. This is just clip, 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 music underneath. It is as simple as that. It doesn't need to be any more complicated. I tell you guys all the time, your content needs to be educational and entertaining. Right now, this pretty much borderlines only entertaining. However, is it educational? Would it show somebody what a class looks like, what that flow looks like? Sure, and maybe that's where we're gonna go ahead and add long form copy to the post so that we have an educational component to it so someone could actually walk away learning more about what a class looks like here at Urban Movement than what they did previously. But that's just a quick little insight as to what my workflow looks like and where my brain is at when creating a piece of video content for a micro gym. So my cons and rituals will kind of live in a very similar ballpark. When you guys think of your shirt, like you guys do have a color scheme. Been bright green for a long time. It's still painted in the gym bright green, but uh. So then bright green is something where at that color, right, and you actually get the color code for it. You go to Sherwin-Williams, you go to the nearest paint store, you give them that color code, they make you up a patch of that color. You then go to every electrical outlet, paint it green. You accent all over the gym the hinges to a door, the trim around a door, the door handle, like anything that can have an accent to it with your green. Now that color green becomes iconic. That is what you wanna be thinking of. Like if you're in the state of Ohio, scarlet and gray is an iconic color for Ohio State Buckeyes. Just like if you're fucking in New York, the blue and orange is iconic for the Knicks. Pinstripes is iconic for the Yankees. So like, even though you're like, well, it doesn't mean anything other than to my clients, that's the whole point. So these are ways we can go ahead and start creating icons if we don't currently have any, because every brand has icons. Now, when we think about the most basic, which is your logo, your logo should be able to be broken down and tell a story. You know, Jason, you know, I did a podcast with him before, uh, before I left. Portland, you look at the really good branding that they've done on their website. You know, the NC Fit is, it's the state of California behind there, but the state in the back gives it some depth. Urban movement. When I wanted to break CrossFit South End, I wanted to break outside of the box, right? The, the CrossFit proverbial box that we all call it. That's why I have a, this logo with the broken box and urban movement exiting it. Alchemy 365, those guys, if you look at the def definition of alchemy, it is to forge and create with metals. They literally created the torpedo. They built a different piece of equipment that had never been created before with forging it with metals, and they created a different class concept in a company. So there's depth to the logo as well. Logos are to be seen, but they're also more importantly to be felt. And people at first glance, will not know that Urban Movement's box means anything, that that's the state of California and NC Fit, and that Alchemy was based off the book The Alchemist, and they actually you know created a piece. Nobody will ever know. However, people will learn over time, and it adds depth to the story.